Hey everyone, welcome back to Catching Up with the Walkers. Thanks for stopping by. If this is your first time here, I'm Gary, and this is Luca. Can you say hi, Luca? Can you tell everybody hi? So Luca is in my arms because he wouldn't leave the tripod alone. But now he's wanting down, so we'll tell, tell him bye. Say bye, Luca. Can you tell everybody bye? And if you can hear Luca purring, he is like a V8 engine. He is going all the time. He's got a super loud purr. Now you're happy that I'm scratching you a little bit. Luca will probably be rocking this tripod. Hey, nobody. In just a minute, because he thinks if I'm out here, he needs to be rubbing around this tripod and whacking it with his tail. But hopefully he heads outside and takes care of some rodents because that's what he does best. So I'm out here in the shipping container not because I want to talk to you about the shipping container, but we can catch up with it while we're out here. But I'm out here because I had to find my tripod. Are you guys like that? Whenever you uh, start looking for something, you have to think back, where was I the last time I used whatever it was that I'm looking for? Well, I was recording a video about the shipping container. I left the tripod out here, so I had to come get it. So while I'm out here, I will update you on this, but first, I'm gonna tell you why we're doing the video today. So I wanted to update everybody on our livestock guardian dog, Xena. She is doing a lot better. I have taken some of your tips. Um, I sprinkled some pepper around some of the areas she was digging. And she, I did not see her digging in those areas anymore. She did start digging in one additional area. I caught her while she was doing it and I scolded her a little bit. I didn't, didn't do anything mean. I didn't, um, physically do anything to her. I just told her how bad it was and she went and got in her doghouse. She is a smart dog. She understands when she does wrong. So she went to her doghouse and she sat there. So while I tried the black pepper, I thought that was the easiest um, solution, the quickest, lowest cost. I tried that and I also tried something else that you guys suggested. I've never done this before, but I ordered something. So stick around to see what else I'm gonna try with Xena. If one thing don't work, I'm going to keep trying the next one. But I'm going to go in the easiest thing for me to achieve to the hardest. So the black pepper was really easy. The next one was pretty easy too. But like I said, we're out here in the shipping container. So I'll update you guys a little bit um, on hopefully what we'll get to do this weekend out here. If you saw over on Walker Farm Fam, this was more or less a mistake. Um, framing this up for an air conditioner. I talked to a guy that I go to church with. Luckily, I've got a great community that surrounds me. I can then ask for advice on almost any topic um, from the people I know. But he said that this room right here, this 12 by eight by eight um, room would get extremely hot even in the winter time. He said that 12,000 BTU air conditioner is gonna put off a lot of heat Cycling, um, the condensing the air, whatever, I don't know what it does, but it puts off heat. So he said it would be way better off outside. So what I'm gonna do is cut a hole right up here. I did not want to, that's why I did not plan on doing that originally. I didn't wanna cut a hole, but he said that would be the best. So just in case, I wanna err on the side of caution, do the best I can. So let's head out to the goat pen real quick. It's a little bit windy outside. I think we'll be okay. But let's head out there, um, check on Xena, check on the goats, and we'll do a little update out there. But I want to let you know what I'm gonna try next as far as correcting her bad behavior. So we made it out here to the goat pen. And just as some of you guys advised, I moved um, Xena's food dish from the fence over there to the fence over here. Super easy move. Thank you for that advice. It literally took me like one minute to do. Not a big deal at all. So I'm gonna try feeding her over here and see if it works out a little bit better. Where's Zena? Come here, baby. Back 
Luca, following me everywhere. My shadows. Hey, Luca. Hey, Joe. Hey, Zena. So you can see that the goats are out here. She's not aggressive towards them. Um, the other day, I think she was just really telling them, hey, this was my food. This isn't yours. But you can see that she is much bigger than this little goat right here. And she uh, usually isn't aggressive towards them at all. But whenever that horse was over here, that pony on this side of the fence, it's much taller than Xena. Also, the alpacas were over here. And so I think that's where the food um, aggression that you saw set in because she was not comfortable. Hey, look, baby. Want your food? Want your food? No? You're not hungry? Okay. But Jazina's doing a good job um, so far with the goats and less digging, but hopefully she keeps it up. So while I'm out here, it just started raining on me. But you know what? I will never turn down a rain because that's what makes everything grow. Hey guys, how are the goats this morning? How are you doing? Everybody having a good morning? So this goat to me does not look bred right here. But this one over here definitely does. And that one does. So shadow looks bred. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not a goat guy. I've said that before. Hey, how are you this morning? And we have one smart goat that found its own personal shelter. Everything going good in there? You getting out of this rain, Oreo? That's a little Oreo. So, like I told you, I put black pepper in the places that Xena had dug previously, and this is the place that she recently dug. So, Xena, Xena, look at me, Xena, set, set. No, look, we do not dig. We do not dig, okay? Come on, let's go back this way. Uh-oh, we got a problem. Gravy? I gotta get you back in, baby. So gravy's out, I gotta get gravy back in. That could be bad, so. Gravy was trying to get back in on her own. All right, Gravy, go on in. Go on in, buddy. Go on in. Go on in. Go on in. Go on in. There you go. Zena, do not dig right there. Look, girl, do not dig, okay? We have to stop this. We little gravy can get out, and gravy can get hurt. We gotta stop. And of course, here's where all the smart goats are, out of the rain, and Ruru, he's not getting wet. Gravy, you glad to be back in with your mama, buddy? Huh? You glad to be back in with mom? No? You were enjoying that extra grass out there in the weeds, weren't you? Maybe one day we'll get that pin done and you can have a bigger space. So you can see exactly why we do not want Xena digging. 
Gravy is our youngest goat, was able to get under that fence, get outside, and nothing bad happened today. But if a stray dog came up, or a coyote, or something else, and he started um, screaming because he's in distress, or if he just started screaming because he wanted back in with his mom, he sounded distressed, that's going to attract all kinds of predators. So we do not want her to be out. So desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm going to do something I've never done before with a dog, and that's a shock collar. So we um, have never used a shock collar where you shock. When we lived in town, um, we had considered it before whenever we had a dog that needed trained because there are lots of trainers that use shock collars specifically just for training. Zena, get back baby. She's hitting my tripod if you guys are shaky. Um, but we've never done it before. I don't really um, know if it works that well. So if you have any experience, let me know. Um, but let me show you real quick which shock collar we got. So I made it back up here to the porch to show you that shock collar because the rain picked up and the wind picked up. But when I'm on the north side of the house, the wind is just fine. And Mr. Luca followed me back up here and will not quit meowing until I picked him up. So hopefully, hey, hey, I need to show them the shot collar. Can you get down? Thank you. So I started searching for a shot collar and the prices were way all, just all over the place. Whoa. Hey, Luca, be nice. <sighs> Susie and Luca, they're always fighting. So the prices are all over the place on shot collars. I um, looked on uh, PetSmart's website. They seemed a little higher. And um, I was close to a Walmart. And my local Walmart actually had one in stock. So I clicked on it. It was the Premier Pet um, 300 yard trainer. Uh, it has a 300 yard range. It has three training um, things built in. One is a tone, so it makes a little beep. One is a vibration. And it has 99 levels of shock or static stimulation is like what they want to call it. Static stimulation. Sounds a lot better than shock, doesn't it? Uh, it's the same thing. Um, it's rechargeable and it's waterproof. So this, if you're looking for one, um, this is, uh, my local Walmart was $49.99, but the, the price I looked online, it was $39.99. And so I uh, went to pay and it rung up the higher price, $49.99. So I asked the Walmart associate um, to come over and I showed her the price on the phone and told her, do I have to go buy this online and then just pick it up? Because that's an option. And she said, no. They were able to override it. She had to get a manager over. They checked the price online and it was $39.99. So if you're gonna go get one of these at Walmart, um, you're not buying on walmart.com, you're picking it up in the store, double check that price because I would have overpaid $10 if I wasn't paying attention. But since I was only buying a couple items, I was watching real close. So it came with uh, this, uh, it's a pr Premier Pet, um, I don't know if you guys could hear that or not. I turned it on, I think. Maybe I turned it off, I don't know. And it also came with this little controller. And so the controller has uh, different options, but like I said, it makes a sound. Let me see if I can put it on the sound. Uh, can you guys hear that? Let me put it up here by the mic. So that's the sound. The next option is um, a vibration. Let me put it right on the mic. Maybe you guys can hear the vibration. Yeah. So those are both warnings. So if a dog's doing something that you don't like, you, you let them know with the sound first. I think. I think this is how it goes. Help me out if you're an expert on, on these callers. You let them know with the sound first. Then you, you hit them with that little vibration that says, hey, I don't like that behavior. I don't know if that's you know what you're trying to tell the dog. And if that doesn't work, and then you go to the last one and it goes all the way from uh, it's on let's see like 70 right now it goes up to 99 or it goes all the way down to one so you can choose anywhere in the range of 1 to 99 on how much shock you want to deliver so Xena is a pretty big dog so I'm guessing 
probably start off in like the 25 range or 30, I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe you guys know. But you go from, from there up. So to me, I thought $39 was not a bad deal for this collar. It has a one year warranty. If I don't have Xena trained in one year, I'm probably gonna have bigger problems anyway. So I'm pretty excited about trying this out. So the wind was even kicking up more. So I moved over here in front of the door, a little bit closer out of the wind um, in this corner over here. What, Luca? What? Oh, what do you think? He will sit there and meow at my feet until I say something to him. And here comes Susie. She's going to get jealous. Susu, come here, Susu. You want to say hi? Come here, girl. Come here, baby. Oh, there's Susu. Can you tell everybody hi? They like a little scratch on their uh, around their ears and neck. Yep, yep, yep. She says that's it. That's the spot. All right. So that little shot collar, though, I think is going to be something great to try out as far as um, training with Zena. Uh, bye, Sue. If you guys have any advice, like I said, leave it down in the comments. I'm new to this. I don't know. I'm going to read all the directions. I'm going to watch a few YouTube videos. I'll figure it out one way or the other. But if there's just something that stands out um, that you need to warn me against, let me know. I do know that you need to be home. So the directions say don't leave the collar on a dog for more than 12 hours. So is that the right thing? I assume it is because it's on the directions. But the good news is we're going to be home a lot in the next few um, weeks. So Cassie will be on Christmas break. Oh, there's a spider on my mic. Clicked it, got it, got it. So there is a um, good time because Cassie's gonna be home on Christmas break for probably three weeks. The kids will be outside a lot of the time and I can leave the little transmitter in there and tell Cassie uh, to have the kids let them know if they see Xena, A, chasing the goats, or B, um, digging. So if she's doing any kind of undesired behavior, we're gonna try to Take, this, take care of it right now on this Christmas break. So hopefully um, by the time the new year comes, Xena is no longer digging and we've got everything taken care of. So I think that's it with Xena. Uh, she is doing good though and hopefully she'll keep doing better. I don't have enough black pepper to go all the way around that pin or else I would have tried that. Maybe that would have worked. But I want to thank you guys for um, being concerned about our dog just as much as we are it seems sometimes a lot of you guys give lots of advice and for that we are super thankful so as far as catching up with the walkers cassie's not here right now we are super busy as we said last time i think but we're about to slow down um, a lot of the sports stuff doesn't happen on uh, christmas break i think we got one more week of school and hopefully cassie will be doing some of these catching up with the walkers on her own instead of me but for now, we, we make it work. But we do have something really big coming up on Walker Farm Fam this week. So stay tuned. I think the video will probably be out tomorrow, which is um, Sunday. And you guys are going to be really, really excited about what we um, are going to have on that video. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss that. Also, we just hit a huge milestone over on Facebook. We got um, 10,000 page likes so it's kind of like subscribers on YouTube uh, so thank you to all of you guys that went over on Facebook and liked it if you haven't yet if you would do that we appreciate it but we got to the 10,000 mark that's just kind of a benchmark for creators um, that allows you to start um, getting compensated for some of your work so really all we ask we don't we don't want you to do any kind of subscriptions you don't have to do that you don't have to send us things in the mail but if you watch our videos that helps us out and helps us keep going as far as making content for you all. So thank you so much for that. Also on Walker Farm Fam, we'll be um, hopefully getting the shipping container wiring finished uh, this coming week. And there's always more tours and stuff to do on the farm. You don't want to miss it. But, oh my, these two. Let me tell, tell you. Hey. Luca, be nice to Susu.
You guys have any advice for helping with that? I have no clue on that. I don't know. Sue is the dominant cat because she's the oldest, but Luca is starting to get the size that really does not want to make Sue mess with them as much. I hope that they work it out, but if you have any advice, we'll take all you can get. Oh, goodness. Never, never a dull moment around here. I promise you that. So I want to thank each and every one of you for following along. If you have any prayer requests, just leave them down in the comments below. Um, I know that uh, this is a super busy time, so we'll be praying for all of you guys to have just the best Christmas ever. I know a lot of people have lost loved ones this year, and um, we'll be praying especially for you um, as this holiday season is approaching quickly. So thank you for following along. We hope you have a great day. God bless, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.